Good morning, guys. Let's try this again without the ups. I just left the house without an SD card in the camera, so I had to go back and get one. But we are, I am just now leaving my house. It is like 7.45 in the morning. I'm running late. 7.38. I'm supposed to leave at 7. Got the trailer behind me. I am going to get two more items for the channel. Like I said, we were, um, we had big plans. We are making moves on those plans. So, hopefully, hopefully this will prove to you that we are serious about trying to get more videos out for you. There's a turkey crossing the road right now. Um, I don't know. Oh, there's another one. That's turkey. <laughs> and he ate shit. Um, no one ever said they were crazy. But, um, hopefully this will prove to you guys that we are serious about doing these projects. Um, so, stay tuned. Subscribe. Be ready for more videos to come. Turbo diesel. 
and it's lifted. So, to get to the plan that I was talking about in the last video, I'm going to daily this for a while. Um, my original plan was to take this engine out and put it in the blue Toyota, which is in the shop right now. Um, that's ultimately what the plan is for the dually white Toyota. Four wheel drive swap, solid axle, lifted 33s, 35s with this diesel engine in it. I want to put this diesel, same diesel in the blue one and the white one, but plans have changed and I did some more research. Um, my buggy that I'm building is for competition. Some trail use, but mainly competition. Um, the setup that I have now is 22R propane. Gonna turbo it, or was gonna turbo it. Um, but it's a lot of money to barely get 200 horsepower out of that engine. Yes, they're strong, reliable, but no power and heavy. So I did some research. The This diesel engine in this Jetta weighs the exact same amount as a stock 22R, not including the turbo kit for the 22R. So my plan is to put this engine in the competition buggy. About the same horsepower, but double or triple the torque, and it's a lot lower RPM, better for crawling. These are easier to make power out of. Um, they're all mechanical, um, cheaper to build power, easier to build power. It's OBD2, I can, get a, I can get a cheap tuner for it and just tune it if I wanted to. Um, but this car already has EGR Delete. It's only got 191,000 miles on it. Um, it's straight piped, it, like I said, it's lifted. So, as you can see, there's snow. I'm gonna get some studded snow tires for it and daily it for a while, make sure everything's good. And then once the buggy is ready to get the engine swapped in, I'm going to swap this engine out. Or if I find another Jetta that's wrecked, that engine still runs or the tranny's blowing up or something, as long as the engine runs, I might try to pick that up too because I'm gonna need more. And so I can keep this one as a daily because this one is pretty sweet ride so yeah um, I'm not gonna go get package number two today um, so stay tuned for that but we got we got things going for for the channel here in the near future so stay tuned all right guys I am back it is two days later um, from getting the other car, the Jetta. Um, I am back on the road to go get item number two. Um, it's 8.30 in the morning. Got about a three hour drive now. Probably stay on my side of the road. I just want to say this it's a nice drive because there's no cars, but it's boring as shit. There ain't nothing around and I still got an hour and a half to go yeah all right guys package number two is secure on our way home we got it a little while ago uh, I got two and a half hours left once again still in the middle of nowhere so whoop, quick sneak peek um, it'll probably be dark by the time I get home, so I don't know how much I'll be able to show you, um, but there's a whole bunch of deer up there. Um, I'll go over everything either um, tonight, if it is still light enough, or tomorrow. Get it off the trailer. So, uh, 
depth. And I guess technically there's a third package that'll be coming to the channel in about two weeks or so. So I guess stay tuned for that too. Like I, like I said guys, there's a lot of things going on. Making moves. So stay tuned. Yeah, the timing's a little off. Got another fucking Toyota. It's here, 85, but it's a late 85. Still kind of sketched out about it, but it's an 85. Vin says 85, title says 85, but it's IFS. Really weird, carbureted. IFS 85. Seems fishy to me, but we're gonna go with it. It's got like a four inch lift. I had to take my tires off of mine to go get this one. But yeah, there she is. Had 35s on it. Um, it's got 529s and the lockers front and rear when it had 35s. The guy said he had it on like 38s before, um, but then he got mine, which is 48s and limited slips on those 33s. So, almost identical trucks. It'd be pretty sweet. We uh, go do some, do some donuts or whatever, play in the snow. We got our snow rigs now. I got the other white Toyota back there to work on. Told you, big things coming to the channel. Probably gonna get some sliders, some bumpers built for this. I'd probably a project video that you'll see in the future. So, yeah. And then, like I said, we got my diesel Jetta that I'm gonna take the engine out of and put it in something. I don't know what yet, but it's gonna happen. So, yeah, just a little little teaser of what's to come. So hopefully you guys stick around and and we'll wait for them and watch them and enjoy them. Have a good one.